Here we are with the um, unveiling of the um, Yoshimi Battles the Pink Robots 20th Anniversary Deluxe Set CD version. This is six CDs, um, and it includes a book and a poster, and we are going to do our best to get right into this thing and show you every aspect of it, even the shrink wrap which is always a sign that something is well done. Uh, it, it, I hope it's not impenetrable, but, oh, there you go, okay, yeah. Um, starting off good. But even for me personally, I mean, I like even keeping these stickers, so oftentimes I'll say, there's that, and then I'll take the sticker off, but I'll save you a little bit, and that can be there. So um, it's a beautiful, beautiful package. Um, it's got the, the six CDs here. It's, it's a re reimagining of the um, original Yoshimi Battles the Flame, uh, Yoshimi Battles the Pink Robots Flaming Lips um, album, but it's also got this other little painting that was featured in, I forget which, which of the singles covers that, that particular one was on. But I'll, but I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out and we'll, we'll get to it. So I'll just get right into here and we can, we can see it's, um, this, is, this is nice. It's even got little, little, little stuff written on the inside there. Um, Warner Brothers has always done immaculate um, packaging. Uh, great with colors, great with the texture and everything. So here we go. I'll, I'll, I'll put it all out here and so we can see just um, what all is in here in the beginning. All these great things, all these great things, all these great things. And there's the poster. So let me save the poster. I'll save the poster for last and then we'll, we'll do the book before that. So yeah, we'll get right to, don't know if there's any particular order, but let's say there's six CDs in here. One of them is the Yoshimi Battles the Pink Robots album, but since it's CD, there's there's lots more stuff on that. There's demos, uh, stuff from um, some radio shows. Um, lots of great stuff. I'll go through uh, what some of the demos are in some other episodes of this, but we'll, we'll get to just you know, so you can see what all's happening here. Um, all the CDs have this, this sort of new, new design that's going with this. This is a new painting that I did not too long ago. Um, here's the, the live from two, the show from 2002 at the Paradise Lounge in Boston and other stuff because it's CDs you can do a lot of their stuff so the uh, the extra one that's on this is the is the 20 almost 25 minute long demo that we end up calling the psychedelic hypnotist daydream and uh, that'll be uh, one that I explore in another episode but so this is a more recent painting that I did that added to the collection um, this is a live recording um, from uh, from London in 2003, so a lot of Yoshimi know, Battles Pink Robot songs, but um, Soft Bulletin and other uh, stuff from our catalog. So it's not exclusively live uh, Yoshimi stuff, but lots of it. Um, it's an old old painting that was uh, featured with some of the um, singles that we put out around the time of 2002, 2003. I don't remember which one, but um, I'll find out. Um, so yeah, lots of lots of great stuff on there, and there's you know, the, some of these shows. Um, they're just they're, they're really great recordings. I mean, we didn't pick any recordings that were difficult to to like. You know, it, it, the, the 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 recordings that Scott Booker picked. Um, I think he picked them mostly because he really loves them, but secondly, he picked them because um, they really sound great. And of course, all this stuff has gone through Dave, Dave Fridman as well. And so, um, you know, you know, it's going to sound, uh, really great. So this is radio sessions, meaning like we would go into a radio station and we'd do, uh, pieces of interviews, but also they'd always want you to do a couple of songs. <laughs> so we very reluctantly would do that. So it would, it's, it's not that often that we would, we'd do these. So quite a few, um, of, do you realize there'd be a, a couple of times on here where we do the, um, a song by Kylie Minogue. I mean, there would, there would be repeats because sometimes we'd be doing these radio shows and there would be several of them in a week and you'd sometimes be doing the same uh, songs. But it's, a lot of it is, is really, really great fun. Some of it's a little bit embarrassing for me, but, um, but that's my job, you know. Um, CDs all have their own uh, sort of design on them. They're all 
pretty great. So here it's, um, this is a reissue of this uh, fight test, Ego Tripping at the Gates of Hell um, EP. It's never been on vinyl before. Um, so when the vinyl comes out um, in April, that's gonna be uh, uh, pretty amazing. But um, you know, that's, so it's, it's, it's the, the stuff that was on that, if you, if you have that one before, and again, it's a sort of a unique CD print even. Um, so that's a great, uh, and, that, and that's an old painting, painting as well. So here's another one that features a, one of the old paintings. And this was an, an EP back in the day. We've reconfigured it to be stuff that is not on the album, but it's still stuff that we recorded around this time. Um, lots and lots of stuff. I mean, CDs are, are crazy like that because you can put a lot of stuff on there. Some of it would be stuff that you, if, you, you're, if you're a real collector, you've probably heard it somewhere along the way, but here it is all collected and it's all mastered and it's all... Uh, really convenient for you all right here. See, it's got the Duck Dodgers theme. It's got um, it's got the Golden Path uh, version that we did with the Chemical Brothers. Lots of lots of great stuff. So anyway, looks great. All these just look at this um, amazing uh, packaging I did with a friend of mine, uh, Dave Hoffner. He's just uh, he's got a really great uh, eye for coloring and just um, symmetry, and he's. Um, really easy to work with, so you can just work fast and change your mind if you need to. Uh, the book has another uh, new painting um, that I did. I had no idea what I was doing, but um, uh, uh, Mr. Hoffner saw it and he thought it was great. And so in the back of that is an old, older painting. And these are, it's like an interview that I did with Stephen. We talked about the things that he remembered about us uh, doing the songs and uh, doing the demos and coming up with the production and all that. And there's even a little spot in here where I talk with um, with Dave Fridman because Stephen and I couldn't remember uh, what had happened. So um, pretty extensive. The one that's in the um, album and the vinyl version in April is a little longer just because it's bigger and so we didn't want to give you too many, too many, too many pages, but a lot of fun stuff and I'll, 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 I'll do a little segment about some of the four tracks that are featured in here. So the book is, feels good, looks good. And then there's this poster that is the revised Yoshimi Battles the Pink Robots um, album cover. And it's, you know, it, it's, it's, it's a fun size. I mean, I don't, I don't like sometimes when posters are just too, too big. You don't know what to do with them, especially if you kind of care about what you're putting in frames around your house. Um, but it's got um, some updates of the, um, the Japanese uh, lettering saying, I'm not sure what it says, but it is, I'm sure it probably says something I'll always have is now. And do you realize everyone you know someday will die? Well, but I don't know for sure. But anyway, this is, this is really fun too. It's the expanded version of that painting that I did um, where Yoshimi is at the very end of the story. She's gone off to fight this uh, robot that's kind of... Um, had something gone wrong with them and it's it's in a big forest fire um and that's all part of the um the uh graphic novel that i'm i'm getting closer and closer so it's you know it's going to be about 400 pages and i've got i've got about 90 pages done so far so i feel like i'm about a, about a third done but this, the third that i have done is um is, is gone is gone really well and i think it's going to be really entertaining and i think it, it, it if people like this album you'll see all this the songs sort of come to life in the story but yeah so um yeah so poster um you get the great booklet six immaculate looking uh cds some old paintings some some brand new ones used for this and then this great great um this all-encompassing sort of sleeve it's got the, all the pictures right there and just great stuff so now that comes out um, on the record store day that is Black Friday. It's the day after Thanksgiving, so it's coming up pretty soon. Um, it's not officially part of record store day because record store day is about vinyls, but, um, but it'll be in the stores there. Um, so when you go to get stuff on vinyl, you can pick this up and um, um, it's just, I, it's, CDs are, are kind of becoming cool again, so I'm really glad we got this great, great, this great package. So here we go. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you. Here we go. Yeah. Two hours later. Yeah. I mean, that was yeah. great. That was, yeah. We had a lot of ground to cover. <laughs>